Emotions run high for Nimfa Alferez whenever she's reminded of the two years their family home had no power. It was so dark. My baby Wella almost got stepped on. Since then, she swore she would never miss a payment. But electricity prices in the Philippines are some of the most expensive in Asia, and it remains a struggle for Nympha. Total electrification President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says he's aware of this burden and the looming energy shortage, and is open to all solutions, including nuclear. This nuclear power plant was commissioned in the 1970s by his father. It was intended to power millions of homes, but was never used. There have been efforts to get the Bataan nuclear power plant up and running before. That right behind me is the plant's reactor. But now, under the leadership of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., there's more optimism than ever. The question is whether the project is still viable after being dormant for decades. Nuclear energy advocate and Congressman Marco Huanco has been lobbying for Bataan for years. He believes that with a little work, it could be as good as new. A South Korean company has offered to rehabilitate it for a billion dollars. My precedent, which is uh, Watts Bar 2 nuclear plant in Tennessee, it was uh, not used for decades because the uh, electric market never materialized. And in 2009, they decided to commission the plant. But Bataan has been saddled by corruption allegations. Critics also argue the safety concerns that led to the decision to shut it down have not been addressed. It's near to the Manila-Luzon Trench uh, fault lines. There was Chernobyl and there was uh, Fukushima. We thought that the Bataan nuclear power plant will never come back. President Marcos is exploring other energy solutions. While on a working visit to the U.S. Capitol in May, he met executives of a company selling micronuclear fuel technology and recently extended the contract for natural gas drilling off the west coast of the Philippines. Nympha says she understands very little about these debates, but knows for sure that what she wants and needs is affordable electricity. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Bataan, the Philippines.